Hello, I guess you like what you see and that's why you're here for this beginner's level tutorial without plugins and stuff. And I'm going to show you how I make this scene based on repetition video by Kevin O'Fallon. This is not how Kevin did it. I'm showing you the original image here and it's quite problematic with the shaky bits because then the consequent image would have to follow along with the shakes. To let you know it's better to use a static image for this because it will be a lot easier and you won't you know, have to face the problem that I face making this. Uh, that's uh, me confused about uh, which actually is my pointer at three times the speed. And hopefully you could find yourself a, a non shaky shot. And uh, let's start. First let's put this footage into the After Effects and then um, make it its own sequence. Mark the part where I want to start and then trim it. Yeah, trim according to work area and then let's start to work, which is tracking. Because this is shaky handheld footage, uh, initially I try to truly track the mask and create a null for the duplicate footages afterwards to follow along. But that it didn't work out so well because as you can see my images or my after effect didn't show quite well the 3D tracking points and I cannot really connect the four points to create this one null at the center. But it took me quite a while to finally give up. One eternity later. Yeah. So I give up and then I start with the real work, which is masking. Because it's a shaky handheld footage, I did the mask uh, frame by frame. Palm face. <laughs> Initially, I created this uh, like several seconds pointers where the masks should be, but then. I decided to uh, track the mask, which I can access through the few uh, window. The track masking disobey my pointers. And at the end, the pointers was a futile work that I shouldn't be doing in the first place. So if you're doing this, just go with the track masking and pay attention to when the masks start to sway away too far and then correct it and then continue with the point to point masking frame to frame mask 2000 years later right after the human race reached its peak potential and populations i finished with the masking and this is the end result of the masking so the black area was the mask area and i'm quite happy with it there's no light leaking out and, uh, even when the bits are shaky you can still see that it's constant I wish the null works, uh, but since it doesn't, so just go on with it anyways. And then let's go on to the second real work, which is duplicating. I duplicate the mask footage, put it behind the main footage at fraction of the size to eternity. Or at least to a point where you can't really see the hole anymore, the mask hole. The mask hole, ooh. <laughs> yep. <coughs> Uh, it's really a lot of manual labors. If you guys know a an automatic work to do it, let me know in the comment. Mm -hmm. I also parent uh, each frame to the second frame, which is a bad idea. I think the best way was to frame the second frame to the first, the third to the second, the fourth to the third, and so on and so forth, so that when you move one frame, the frame behind it follows it. So adjustment would be simpler. And this is what I meant, that when the shake becomes quite apparent, you have to adjust the anchor point. And I did that manually because uh, of oh, bad parenting. Bad parenting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, I adjust the manual frame by frame by its anchor points and not its position because the position is already uh, duplicated from the second frame. One frozen wasteland later. And this is the result. I still have to adjust the um, anchor point. I also adjust the rotation of the, the frames to touch the holes basically. And the last part was improvisation. Uh, well, of course, you could start 
with the effect you know but i usually start with no effect and then in the middle of it the effect starts the effects end and then end and shot you know <laughs> yeah anyways and that's why i improvise on how it's going to start and how it's going to end and what i did with this scene was that i make the main layer invisible and then captured the consequent layers as an image and then put it behind the main layer and frame by frame move the position as it goes out of frame as the masking goes out of frame one winner later and finally it's done uh epilog yeah there's a lot of things you could do with this footage and one of them is uh this It's not done very well, but uh, you got the point. And I hope you like this tutorial. And um, yeah, just comments if you have suggestions or you want other types of tutorials. I'm more than happy to help you with your uh, visual endeavors. I hope this helps. See you soon.